A canal law raises and lowers a vessel between stretches of water of different levels. The chamber is enclosed by an upper and lower gate. Each gate has a sluice or valve which controls the flow of water in and out of the chamber, thus allowing the water level to rise or fall when desired. The opening and closing of the gates and the operation of the sluices were operated by a lock keeper who often lived nearby. The lock keeper would also be responsible for keeping the lock free of debris. Though some of the locks were slightly different in design, the principles of operation were basically the same. Lock 5 is what this video is based on and perhaps it will encourage you to visit this amazing renovated structure in Wellington, Nova Scotia. It is about 142 feet long and 17 feet wide. It connects Grand Lake to the river system. The gates and their sluices were manually opened and closed by the lock keeper. The sluices of the smaller gate were opened which allowed water to fill up the chamber to the same level of water of the awaiting vessel. The small gate would then be opened allowing the vessel to enter the chamber. Then the small gate would be raised and its sluices closed to prevent any more water from entering the chamber when it was emptied. The sluices of the large gate would then be opened to release the water in the chamber. The level would then drop in a controlled manner and the vessel would be lowered to the new water level. The large gates could now be opened and the vessel's journey could continue.